Well, after a vacation, Congress members have gone back to work today with a fast approaching deadline. Federal budget cuts known this time around as the sequester, not fiscal cliff two, but the sequester set to kick in on Friday. $85 billion in reductions would begin and affect programs across the board. The White House estimates that 750,000 jobs could temporarily hang in the balance. It's a situation that had the president and Wisconsin's governor speaking out today, and Fox 11's Eric Peterson has both sides. As I said in the State of the Union, the American people have worked hard and long to dig themselves out of one crisis. They don't need us creating another one. At his address to the National Governors Association, President Obama called on Congress to prevent the sequester. These cuts do not have to happen. Congress can turn them off any time with just a little bit of compromise. The president claims the sequester could mean jobs lost. Companies are preparing layoff notices. Families are preparing to cut back on expenses. And the longer these cuts are in place, the bigger the impact will become. It's a message that frustrated Republican governors in attendance. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker says many states have been able to keep finances in check. We've shown that we can balance those budgets without raising taxes in a way that wasn't arbitrary, but in fact was able to focus in our priorities. Governor Walker says across the board cuts are not the answer. And even though we don't necessarily like the cuts that are part of the sequester, we think it is incumbent upon this president and his administration to provide alternatives to those cuts. It's a crisis that may be as much about politics as it is about the economy. This town has to get past its obsession with focusing on the next election instead of the next generation. At some point, we've got to do some governing. It's about time the folks in Washington started providing the kind of leadership that the rest of us do across the country. Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News.